With me tonight, from all the way across the pond, co-host extraordinaire, Abel DeLeu. Sir, looking sharp. How I thought you they were inviting me to a trip to Vegas, to be honest. So I don't know why I got all dressed up. I should actually ask you, how are you doing this morning, sir? Uh, no, it's 1 It's one a.m. I'm very much awake. Okay, that's morning to me. <laughs> anyway, we got an exciting match today. We're in the second round of the TLU singles tournament. Uh, Robert Kaftner won his first round match. He had to come in here in the second round, play Sam Wilson, who got a bye into the second round. So let's uh, let's uh, leave nothing, uh, no stones unturned. Let's bring in one of the contestants right now, Robert Kaftner and his manager, Mr. Joe Harrison. Guys, how you feeling? You, Robert, you've played already, so you, already, you know what you're up against. You know you're, what's going to be going on. How you feeling tonight? Yeah, buys buys stink, cold coming cold like um, tomorrow's pizza. Like, <laughs> gotta get reheated. I was I was fresh out the oven, baby. Let's go. And you picked up. Uh, well, you were dealing with some James Bond questions today. How you feeling on your your, your Bond knowledge? Uh, I played a match in another league where Bond came up for the other person, and I stole some stuff. So you know, what's cool. Some experience, and of course, very special manager Joe Harrison's here today. Joe, thoughts. I'm excited to uh, get to actually finally manage Robert. I was stuck at work for his last match. Um, so I'm excited I get to be here. I uh, love what Robert does as a competitor. It's why he was one of my earliest picks in the draft. Um, so, yeah, so I'm excited to see what Robert can do going on in this tournament. I think he can make a deep run. So we just got to get it done tonight, and I'm completely confident in his abilities. That's great. We're going to put you guys backstage very briefly, bring in your opponent, Mr. Sam Wilson, his manager, Jack Pinchuk, the manager of champions, Jack Pinchuk. Uh, Sam, your first time back in the new iteration of the league. You have not played in, in this exact format yet. So any concerns? How you feeling? I mean, listen, I don't know what's happening. I just I just woke up, uh, found myself in this chair. I think Jack just threw a whiteboard and a marker through my window. So I guess I'm just going to answer some questions today and see what happens. All right. Well, you might not remember, you did choose Spider-Man as your strength, and I've seen you answer Spider-Man questions in the past. You're something of an expert. You're feeling strong today. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not saying that I am Spider-Man, but I don't think anyone's seen me in the same room as him, so yeah. I might know a thing or two. Jack, thoughts? Yeah, no, Sam is obviously a very good competitor. Uh, I got a lot of confidence in him. Uh, whether or not he is Spider-Man, I can neither confirm nor deny, uh, but I have my suspicions. Uh Robert's obviously a great player. He was drafted early on in, uh, in the draft, if I'm remembering correctly, uh, deservedly so. Sam, you've got a great chance here. Uh, you're the higher ranked player. Don't worry. Uh, don't don't worry too much. Just uh, just do your thing. Have fun. All yeah. right, Jack. We'll say goodbye to you momentarily. We'll bring Robert back. Ryan right, guys. is a high draft pick too. <laughs> that is true. Uh, let me go over the rules of round one. Round one is our, you know, it's our quasi speed. It's not, it's not entirely fast, but it does run at a little bit of a gallop. You're going to get eight questions. I'm going to ask a question. There'll be 10 seconds. I'll then I'll, I'll ask a question. There'll be 10 seconds. I'll ask a question. We'll go back and forth until we've asked eight questions. At that time, you'll have 10 seconds remaining to finish up your boards. There are three repeats of that challenge throughout the entire match. In the first round, if you want to use a repeat, you can get 20 extra seconds at the end and get me to repeat a question. Maybe you want to hear again. Uh, any questions before we start? No, sounds complex, but I'm here for it. So let's okay, there is a bonus question if you get all eight right as well. So without further ado, I will give you your first question, which comes in the category of the 2010s. What type of animal has David's brother been turned into in The Lobster? Now, John, per personally, I prefer cold morning pizza to fresh out the oven pizza. How about I that? like pizza at any temperature. It's yeah. fantastic. Cold pizza for me, bro. Not, not, but like room temperature cold. Give them their next question. All right. Uh, second question, guys. Eon produced Bond. Which Eon produced Bond film features the lone performance by an actor who only portrayed Bond once? I, I've watched the majority of these for a match. That was a long with a question for actually pretty, you know, simple. Yeah. Yeah. You have to be specific. Because yeah. I say solo, it just it, it, it sounds weird. Your third question comes in mystery thriller. Who directed the Maltese Falcon? Now, that's a straightforward question. Very like, straightforward. See, I'll, I'll let you do the hard ones. I'll just answer the easy ones. You know, I'll read out the easy like ones. Whenever, I, whenever you get me to test these questions, they're way harder than... than, than. <laughs> <laughs> Give them the next one. Question number four is in crime. What slang term does Alex refer to his friends as in A Clockwork Orange? 
uh, Joan and I were doing these sporkle quizzes today, and it was all about like old school literature. We had to name books for every letter of the alphabet. It was fun. This one. Okay. I love sporkle. Your next question comes in the vast category of geek. How many Star Trek films have been directed by a main cast member of any of the Star Trek TV shows? Yup, Star Trek. Now, I like Star Trek better than Star Wars. I'll just leave it there and read the next question. Right? Yep. Okay. Spider Man is your next one. Near the beginning of the Amazing Spider Man Two, which character's birthday is it? You want to sing him a happy birthday song, uh, John? Yeah, I don't want to give I don't want to give it away. Yeah. Uh, but I, everybody deserves a happy birthday. Uh, exactly. Your next question comes to the category of comedy. There's something about Mary's opening scene takes place right before what event is about to start to start. Hey John, is that yeah. um is that hair gel on your ear? We're really great. <laughs> you know what that last one? I thought that was funny. Okay. And your eighth and final question comes in actor filmographies. Who appears in Zoolander, Long Shot? And battleship. Now that's a doozy. Hmm. Your opportunity to use a repeat for extra time ends in five, four. Uh, can I get a repeat? Sure. Um, do, you want me, do you want me to repeat a question? Um, number seven. Sure. There's something about Mary's opening scene it takes place right before what event is about to start? Twenty seconds left in the round. Sick. So they can just repeat any given question yep can they repeat multiple questions with one repeat we haven't come to that bridge yet but i'm happy to do it as long as we do it within the time which was now going to be ending in five four three what if someone's like repeat all of them all right guys we're gonna go to the boards now uh we'll start with robert let's go through your answers all right i said dear on her majesty's secret service john houston droogs five gwen stacy high school prom and liam neeson Hold that. I guess I should hold. That. Wait, hold that for one second. So you said, "Dear, and I'm just okay." Got it, Sam. Your answers. All right, I said, "Lobster on Her Majesty's Secret Service," Sydney Lumet, Droogs, Five, Max Dillon, Fourth uh, of July, Liam Neeson. Okay. At the end of round one, I have Robert with five, Sam with four. Let's go over those answers. Um, the first question, uh, he's turned into a dog. His brother's a dog. The dog that follows him around the whole movie is his brother. Uh, on Her Majesty's Secret Service is the solo one with George Lazenby, yes. John Huston directed Maltese Falcon. Alex calls his friends Droogs. There are five Star Trek movies that are directed by cast members, two by Nimoy, two by Frakes, one by Shatner. It is Max Dillon's birthday, Electro's birthday, to start uh, Amazing Spider-Man 2. Uh, it starts before the prom. There's something about Mary. And the actor that was in all three of those movies is Alexander Skarsgård. Okay. That being said, we're going to go into round two. Robert, you are in the lead by one Five point. To four, yes. Five to four is what I have. So you are in the lead by a point. I will bring Joe in and we'll talk about that wheel really quick. You're going to have the choice to go first or defer your categories tonight. Obviously both strengths, Eon produced James Bond and Spider-Man. Also on the wheel, we got 2010s, mystery thriller, crime, geek, comedy, and actor filmographies. Robert, would you like to spin or defer over to your opponent? It's a really good wheel, Joe. So I, it really doesn't matter to me whether I go first or second. Because if it's really good for you, then I'd say we go second just in case it's worse for him. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm cool with deferring. Okay. Let's put Joe back. Bring Jack in. Sam, here's Robert. your first spin. Yeah. Yes, I will. Got to be honest, that was some sick managing. Wait, yeah, I, I agree. Let's see if Jack can keep up. Surprised you can see spin. through those shades, man. Uh, bro, I see nothing. Your first spin ends on comedy. Sam, would you like to keep comedy or risk it? It's it's really broad and it's one of his uh, choices. So I would my instinct is to spin again. I'm fine with that. Just uh, yeah, we can spin that one more time. All right, your yeah, second spin, spin, which you must take. Will of morality, turn, 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 shows the lesson that we should learn. Lands on your strength of Spider-Man. Go. Uh, you know. You've Jack. got this multiple choice if you have to. You've still got two repeats. <clears throat> take your time. Although you run a uh, a league that asks these questions, uh, do you want to ask these Spider-Man questions? That's a long time ago that I did that, but sure, uh, no problem. 
I was just saying, Jack really stepped up to the managing plate. That was top tier managing. Um, you got it, bro. Sam, five questions, right? Five. Yes, five questions in the realm of Spider Man. Here we go. Question number one In how many Spider Man films does May Parker die? And I will remind you, you do have multiple choice for one point if you want to drop down. Does it have to be on screen? Um, I believe no. Five, four, three, two. two. That is correct. Right. Question number two. Besides the computer, what does Peter B. Parker tell Miles they need to grab before they leave the laboratory? In Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. A bagel. Selecting a bagel. Perfect. Two more points. Question number three. What singer has a featured credit on Chad Kroger's song Hero for the Spider-Man soundtrack? I'll go multiple choice. You got it, buddy. Here they come. Is it A, Josie Scott? B, Macy Gray, C, Corey Taylor, or D, Tyler Connolly? Go Macy Gray. The, mu the musician missed it. We'll go over to Robert for a steal. Is it A, Josie Scott, B, Macy Gray, C, Corey Taylor, or D, Tyler Connolly? I believe Josie Scott's the singer of Saliva, and I believe he's on it, so I will say A, Josie Scott. That is correct for a one point steal. Um, Sam, your fourth question in Spider Man Far From Home, what specific flower is hanging on the necklace Peter buys MJ? Black Dahlia, Black Dahlia is correct. Great job! Murder. And your fifth and final question in the realm of Spider Man. What play is Mary Jane featured in that Peter shows up late to in Spider Man 2? The importance of being earnest. Wow. And that is another two big... No points. hesitation. So I have Sam getting up to 12, Robert hanging out at 6. So you have. All right. Let's oh, bring, bring the back. Let's bring Joe and his hat back. And Robert, ready for your first spin? He does have a hat. Or is it more of a beanie? I'm not sure. They're all hats. Here's your first spin. Everything's a hat when you put it on your head. True. Wow. Oh no, it lands on oh, opponent <laughs> choice. Oh, this is funny. Uh Sam, do you need to hear those categories again? Yeah. Okay, we still got 2010s, Eon produced James Bond, mystery, thriller, crime, geek, comedy, and actor filmographies. Um, can I consult with my manager at all? By all means, yes. Yeah. Good call. Is your, is your manager, Jack? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> all right uh what I, I, yeah i don't think he's afraid of any of these is the thing like if, if we're going for steals my my uh second strongest category would probably be geek but yeah but robert is a really good geek player so that's, that's why thing. i'm a lie hesitant to... that's slander <laughs> uh libel Let's see. Uh, maybe actor filmographies, maybe. Honestly, I go. Yeah, actor filmographies could work. Uh, I think we could we we could do that. That's one of yours that you put put on. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know how good Robert it is at that, but I I know you're you're good at that. You could pick up steals there, so go yeah. with that. You've got a lead. So all right, we'll go actor filmographies. Actor filmographies, it is. Ha, I know actors. Move this. Ah. Move this. I wrote these. Right you ready for your questions in actor filmographies? I, I did until I learned who fucking wrote them, but sure, go ahead. There's no Dutch movies on this list. You're safe from that. Oh, here you go. What actress can be found in the movies? Easy A, P.S. I Love You, and The Girl on the Train. Hmm. 
Five, four, three. I'll take a repeat, please. Three. Your first repeat. Yeah. What actress can be found in movies like Easy A, P.S. I Love You, and The Girl on the Train? I like how the question's like, movies like. Well, I mean, are they like these movies or are they like these movies? Yeah. Well, yeah. Yes. They're qualified. They're qualified as these. Uh, all multiple choice. Lisa. Okay, your multiple choice answers are A, Lisa Kudrow, B, Rebecca Ferguson, C, Amanda Bynes, or D, Kathy Bates. All actresses. Yeah. That's good. Do I get a repeat of the options? You can get a repeat of the options. I'll take a, one. Lisa Kudrow, B, Rebecca Ferguson, C, Amanda Bynes, or D, Kathy Bates. I'll say Rebecca Ferguson. That is incorrect. Chance for a one point still, Sam. Your choice is again A, Lisa Kudrow, B, Rebecca Fer Ferguson, C, Amanda Bynes, or D, Kathy Bates. I'm going to say Amanda Bynes. That is also incorrect. Apparently, according to Alba, Lisa Kudrow is in all those films. Fuck. Okay. I knew she was in one. Yeah, yeah I remember her from Easy A. I didn't remember the cool. Your second question What actor has played Rachel McAdams' husband, Toby McGuire's brother, and Dennis Quaid's son on two separate occasions. <laughs> Woo! Jake Gyllenhaal. That is correct. Uh, a former strength of yours, I believe. But yeah, it was in the last yeah. round. What 90s movie features early performances from Charlize Theron, Brian Cranston, and Liv Tyler? Five, four. I'll do multiple. Uh, Your multiple choice answers are A, Saving Private Ryan, B, Armageddon, C, The Devil's Advocate, or D, That Thing You Do. I'll say That Thing You Do. For one point. Okay. Your fourth question. What actor can be found in Apocalypse Now, The Expendables 3, and The Secret Life of Pets 2? Oh, my God. Ugh. <laughs> Is, that's a range. Holy shit. Um, Five, four. A multiple, please. Your multiple choice answers. Is it A, Wesley Snipes, B, Harrison Ford, C, Lawrence Fishburne, or D, Scott Glenn? Harrison Ford. He is in all those. Yeah. That is correct. Your final question in actor filmographies. What actress has played Liam Neeson's wife? the mayor of Philadelphia, and the director of the CIA. Viola Davis. That is correct. And gentlemen, we have a tie game. Yep. Great job. That being said, going to the final round, you both have two repeats and a challenge. Um, Sam, you are the high-ranked competitor, so I believe we're just going to ask Robert his questions first, if you don't mind. Great. Uh, Sounds good. Since uh, I asked Robert his questions in round two, Abel, you can read the first of those three questions in round three. In Eon, the new spot. Just give him his first until he gets the lead, right? Yep. So if he answers this one correctly, we're going to jump right over to, to Sam for his two-pointer. Love it. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Robert, you ready? Sure. Here it comes, buddy. 007. Mm -hmm. Two points. Who plays Fra Franz Sanchez in License to Kill? Robert Dobby. That's the one. That's the man. Sam, your two-pointer in Spider-Man. Who plays Coach Wilson in the MCU Spider-Man films? Hannibal Buress. I will, I will take the weird stress of his last name, but that's correct. Hannibal Burris is correct. Knew what he meant. I'll back over, I'll back over to Abel for this name. He was under, he was under Burris. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Focus, buddy. What is the name of Emilio Largo's ship in Thunderball? The Disco Volante. That's a great name, by the way. Yeah, I almost said Palmier. That's the other thing, but besides yeah. All right, back over to Sam for his three-pointer in Spider-Man. 
Sam, in The Amazing Spider-Man 2, Peter discovers his father's lab in which disused subway station? Lincoln. Unfortunately, that's incorrect. It's Roosevelt's or Roosevelt Island subway station. It was, it was the other president. Yes, one of the other presidents. With that being said, we do have to go on to your five-point question to kick it back over to Robert. Are you ready for your five-pointer in Spider-Man? Yes. All right. The challenge to last three minutes with Bonesaw McGraw is an attraction held by which wrestling organization? Five, four. Repeat. Your second repeat. The challenge to last three minutes with Bonesaw McGraw is an attraction held by what wrestling organization? Five. The four. WWE. And your winner. Robert the Ghost Castler, it is held by the New York Wrestling League, a very simple name for a simple league in New York. That being said, we're going to drop Robert backstage, bring in your manager, Jack. Guys, it's sometimes these questions, you know, just they just sneak up on you, but it was very tight. This is the first tie we've had going into round three, and so you kept it extremely close to the first two rounds. I'm, I was impressed. Uh, Sam, Jack, your thoughts? Yeah, yeah. you know, the, <clears throat> the, the subway one um, – I knew it was the name of a president and I just went for the wrong president. I think that that was what it was. Um, and then that, that last question was just, I think a detail that I just never really picked up on in the movie. It's just, just not one that it's probably like written in, in the newspaper ad or something, but it's just, just not a detail. So I, I, I kind of knew that I just didn't know that one straight up. Um, and then that, that's that soundtracks question in round two was like, I know I usually know it if it's like in the movie, but that was like, so it was, there were some really tough questions. I was really impressed by the questions, but, uh, but yeah, no, I mean, he, he, play, he played really well too. So I, I, I have no shame really losing to, to him. So. Oh, All yeah, right. no. Uh, Jackson thoughts. Yeah, no, Sam, you played a great game today. Uh, got your strength, played really well in round two. Uh, you, you had four points in round one, which is all uh, really solid considering that a lot of people here have wow. gotten like two and one points in these round ones so far. So mm -hmm. you played a great round one, played a great round two, just came down to uh, an unfortunate uh, three and five pointer. But you played a great game. I know you'll uh, do well in your next match. Can't wait to see you then. Yeah, yeah, we'll be yeah. seeing, once we get rolling, we're going to see you guys back sooner than later. So Sam, we look forward to seeing you again this league. You definitely played strong today. We'll see you soon. Thank you. And today's winner, Robert Kastner, Joe Harrison, his manager, very special manager, Joe. Let's get your initial thoughts on that win, Robert. How are you feeling? Uh, so I was thinking, uh, cool, spinners and opponents, basically. That's neat. Uh, and But they're right. There's nothing on that wheel that really worried me. That's the thing when you draft categories. Usually, um, for the most part, when they're those kinds of categories, they're not too bad. Um, and then I was like, well, uh, I don't know if I can answer a five and bond. We'll see, because I definitely thought, given Sam's proclivity for Spider-Man, we'd be going to there uh good to know that if i had missed that we'd be going to sudden death or whatever uh no uh when your, your opponent has a strength that you have watched a lot of because it's a geek category it helps so that was neat uh yeah it's good to be two and oh in the tournament all right uh well i will tell you who you're playing in the next round and oh. uh, it, it's me so I'll, I'll see you i'll see you in round three but uh joe uh, your thoughts i am excited um we have another person going to Round three, as uh, we know, our faction is guaranteed a spot in round three because we have to self-cannibalize in this round. So I'm excited to have two representatives in round three, and I'm going to have two very strong representatives going into round three. So I'm just excited for how this term is going to go. Yep. All right, guys. Thank you. We'll see you sooner rather than later as we go further on in this tournament. Uh, yeah, really close match up until the end there. Then the round three, it's just the mastery round, just the way it goes. It could be anything, you know, in those rounds. Abel, your thoughts? Thank you for hosting in your thoughts. I'll just say, like, Robert really pulled it out with the, the opponent's choice sticking in there. Uh, those weren't easy questions. I mean, I don't think so because I wrote them. And, uh, you know, Sam, he couldn't have gone out on a more John question, like, 
in his life. Just a Spider-Man wrestling question about like Macho Man Randy Savage. That's all you, bro. So uh, yeah, that is just uh, going out with a with a bang. So my uh, eyes are just drawn to that scene. It's a, it's a, it's a scene that my eyes are drawn to. Either of them have anything to hang their heads about. I think both play great. So you know, it's a fun time. That being said, this was a great match. I, I, I was excited the whole way through. But there's plenty more to come. If you like this, please like, subscribe, go to the video store, buy their shit, watch the other stuff on this channel. It's a loaded channel. So much stuff to watch. Uh, for myself, John Marr, for Alan Deleu, for the players today, uh, Robert Kastner and Sam Wilson, for Jack Pinchuk, for Joe Harrison, this has been Tribute League Unlimited. Tulu, if you're Will Cohen, and hit the button, Frank.